Hello, and finally, welcome back to House Accounter Jormungand, specifically only in For Honor though, not the Smite one. I might do a Smite one if anybody's interested, but I highly doubt it. So, this episode we're going to do the rest of the Samurai, which is basically just Nabushi and Aramusha, and then we're going to get into the Wulin, and then we're done. Finally. I know it took me, like, 300 years to do this, but here I am. So... Enjoy, Nabushi. So, Nabushi has a dodge attack, but you're not going to be using it very often. Instead, you're going to be using the hidden stance to get out of the way of the punch. And then do whatever the fuck you want from there, because Nabushi does things now. She's a lot faster, she's a lot better. Um, also, spacing out Yormungan is a really good thing, because even though a lot of his moves seem to have like weird tracking to them, you can still outrange and outspace the Yormungand quite easily, so, um, you know, same thing with uh, Valkyrie and Shaman. If you main the character, you can probably get some work done. I don't know how you'd do it particularly, but you could you could probably do something, right? Learn the spacing uh, and learn when to go into hidden stats to avoid the punch. For Aramusha, you just kind of want to do... You normal stuff. However, you open up people with Aramusha with like a random light that hits and then you just kind of go from there and scare people with your 40 damage heavies or your lights from another direction that leads to another soft faint mix-up thing. Uh, remember that your uh, backlights are a good way to start your string without being blocked. Uh, I know that's just a general like Aramusha tip rather than countering Yorm, but basically the way that you fight Yorm is um, Basically just look at your stamina bar a lot, and try not to run out of stamina by uh, going into that mix-up um, kind of vortex too often. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so, you don't want to be doing combos like you just saw at all, ever. Never do that, because you run out of stamina immediately. So, um, very simple combos are your best friend. I know that's hard to do with Tiandi at a higher level. Um, but basically, same advice with Highlander and Tiandi. It's like the exact same thing, it's just keep your combos simple. Um, because as soon as you start doing flashy stuff, the Yom and Gand can interrupt you or delete your stamina bar a lot easier because you consume stamina doing all these soft feints and feints and faint softs and feints. As Nusha, don't trap. Just don't. It's not gonna work ever. Instead, rely on your dodge attack, rely on your deflect, because that's a lot of what you'll be doing. Uh, if the Yormagan starts punching, you can dodge attack. If the Yorm is doing two lights, you can deflect it. Yada yada yada, right? So, same thing with Shaman and Valkyrie, it's just kind of uh, do a lot of lights to prevent the Yorm from getting his turn, and if he does have his turn, try and deflect stuff, try and dodge out of the way of stuff, and stop trapping, because Yorm and Gander's an extremely aggressive character. If he sees you throwing a heavy, he's just going to throw a light, and Nusha doesn't have any hyper armor, so you're going to be a bit fucked. So, don't throw heavies ever, don't trap. Don't do anything, just dodge attack, deflect, and throw lights. That's it. Up next is the big up, Nunja Boy! Um, so, you're probably aware that the whole point of Jang Jun is to reserve stamina or regenerate stamina with his Sifu stance. Um, now, I do believe you can dodge the punch with your Sifu, uh, but as, as you can probably tell, I'm not exactly a... Uh, JJ player, so I was just really confused on how Sifu stance worked, so that's why I look like a bit of a spoon. Uh, but yeah, you can dodge out of the way of that, and you can also... The, the JJ does have a dodge attack, so... Yeah, but it's better to just Sifu, um, and regenerate your stamina, because then you regenerate your stamina and the Yorm can't run you out of it. It's kind of hard to win your turn back, but once you do, um, you get big damage. And he and the Yorm can't do his like big damage punishes or anything because you keep regenerating your stamina faster than he can destroy it. That's about it, really. You just do your JJ stuff because I don't I don't really know what you do with JJ. You just do your JJ stuff, and then if he throws a light at you and you block it, just go into Sifu. Just 
do it now, and then you'll probably never die. It'll be fine. Last one on the list is Shaolin. Okay, so basically, exact same thing with Highlander. Again, your, your whole thing is to get into that stance of yours, right? You're meant to get into Chi stance, so it's the same struggle as Shaolin has versus basically everyone else. Getting into Chi stance, and then once you're in it, you do your stuff, right? That's basically it. Um, it should be noted that I do believe Shaolin's little Chi stance kick is a little bit faster than the neutral punch for... Uh, J for Yomgand, but I'm not too sure about that one, you might have to test that. But that's about it. That, that That's Shaolin in a shell map, so... Yeah. So, that's every character fighting Yomgand. I know it took a little while for me to release the third part for whatever reason. I actually don't have a reason, I'm just a lazy twat. Um, but... I just want to take a moment and uh, mention how the first part has nearly like a thousand fucking views. I don't know why or how, I didn't expect that to happen, so um, to anyone who's actually watched the other two, cheers for, stick for sticking with me, I make for honor content sometimes, that's all I can really say. Um, I'm beginning to make a bit of Siege content, nothing serious, and I also do a lot of Smite stuff, but I understand it's quite a niche thing, so if you're interested, actually check out my channel, if you're not, obviously don't. Um, but yeah, thank you ever so much for joining me on this journey of how to fight quite possibly the most complained about hero in the game, ever. Like, I don't even think Centurion was this, was this bad. Like, everyone hates Jormungand, and I don't know why. Just, just ev everyone hates him. I understand he's meant to be a harasser, but Jesus Christ. So, yeah, bye. I've never been good at outros. Uh...